Two Chinese ladies have been caught with almost $50,000 of undeclared cash. You told me that you've got no New Zealand dollars and that you only have $10,800 US dollars. $10, so you just remember now? Yeah. Out at Auckland International Airport, customs and cash dog Roxy is processing recently landed passengers. Thank you. Come, bye. Roxy's crystal clear indication tells her handler she's sending dogs, cash or both in this suitcase. So you're carrying money in this bag today? Yeah, we do have money. How much are you carrying in here? This dog's trained to find money and trained to find large amounts of money. Brendan takes a quick look before resuming his questioning. Okay. So here is about like 5,000? Right. Yeah. 5,000 here. It's is it more than bag. 10? OK, it looks to me like more than 10. Are you carrying any more in here? We, we have another 5,000 here. 5,000 in that one? Are you carrying any in your handbag today? 10,000. 10,000 10, New Zealand as well? Yeah. Oh, so Remember, USA. Uh, USA. USA, OK. Brendan makes the call to send them to the red zone for further checks. The lady reckons she's got probably 20 to 25,000. Uh, so she's got 10 US and then she's got another five in another bag. She's saying it's the mums. So we'll just take them to our search area, establish whose it is. It's over 10 grand anyway, so you, you're required to declare that. Customs Officer Grace takes charge of the inquiry, questioning the woman and her mother-in-law. Within all of the bags and on you, how much money do you have all together? We have a 10 million US dollars. So that's all that you've got? Yeah, and uh, actually I don't know how much is actually in the bag which the dog smell, but I think it's all about 10,000 plus 800. $10,800. Yeah. Customs throw the woman a lifeline and get her to fess up as to how much she really is carrying across the border on an official document. So let's just confirm this. So you've got 10,000 US dollars? Yeah. 10,800 New Zealand yeah. dollars. And then another $10,000. Yeah. So this is not the same as when I asked you before, you told me that you've got no New Zealand dollars and that you only have 10,800 oh, US dollars. I have, I have 10 dollars. So you just remember now? Yeah. Nobody forgets 10 grand in a carry-on. And if they do, who knows what else they've misplaced. She's now remembered, funnily enough, that she's actually got 10,800 New Zealand dollars, another 10,000 New, New Zealand dollars, and then 10,000 US dollars. So 38,000. Sure now Mum seems to have joined the Forgotten Cash Club after claiming she only bought $5,000. Now in the millionaire hot seat, she remembers yet another 10000 The mother has forgotten again. She's also got $9,900 plus 5000 She said the 5000 but not the 9900 It is revealed the $9,900 she forgot was in her purse all along. So this is 9900 Yeah. Where's her other 5,000? In one of her big bags? Yeah. Okay. Given the indications, memory loss and random financial management, customs will check their bags thoroughly. They've told us how much cash that they've got, so obviously we're going to have a look to make sure that that's all they've got counted up. If there's anything more, then we're going to be asking some questions. And as the search gets underway, the cash starts piling up. At the moment, we're up to about 16,000 New Zealand dollars, and there is a load more left. After pretending to forget they had it, the women are conveniently remembering. This one, is this the 10,000 or 10,800? 10,000. 10,000. They are regular travellers and are carrying a serious amount of money, so it's about time they learnt how to fill out a declaration card. So do you understand that by you saying no here, that you're misleading a customs officer? Yes. OK. This is what you didn't want to fill in, OK? That's if fine. you had done this, you would have been gone. We wouldn't have done anything with you. You would have filled well, this in and been out the door. You have to come in here. On here, when you say yes, you okay. end up in this I mean, area and fill this in. That's it. That's it. You could have been gone today. This woman says everything is now above board and it's time to move on. They won't find anything in my bags because I know, except the money, I Can don't think any yeah. food okay, thank you. We'll see you yeah. is restricted by uh, New Zealand. But even now, further discoveries are made by customs. Huh, another iPhone. This is an over by a long shot. What's in this? Is this another phone? It's a brand new phone. There's something amiss with the 
phone. People do it to evade the duty and GST. So that phone is brand new. So you need to declare that to us. Even if you're bringing in a phone second hand that you've purchased overseas, it's still actually liable for um, tax when it comes back into the country, especially the brand new phone. Okay. Um, it actually does. It does say it on there. It's estimated that the women owe about $120 in duty for the two imported phones. They are given a stern warning about the cash, and customs let them know that they are on their radar. Even if you bring in $50,000, next time you don't declare it, it'll be taken off you. They promise never to repeat their mistake, but if they do, there's every chance customs cash dog Roxy will be on duty to catch them. Uh, she said she didn't want to fill in the paperwork. That's why she didn't declare. But she's pretty lucky she's holding on to her money because we can seize it on the spot. So every time you travel with more than 10 grand, make sure you declare it. And uh, then you fill in some paperwork and away you go. And simple as that. Otherwise, these dogs will find you. Thank you.